Here we go, first matchup up here, Falcons at the Saints, and man oh man, folks, this Falcons team, they do us dirty every single week, we bet on them, they look atrocious, we, we bet against them, they get it done and win the game, I mean, we cannot win, so we've got kind of the two enigmas in the NFL, the Vikings that, once again, a total enigma from this week, you know, played good the entire game and ends up losing still, classic Vikings, so once again, that enigma of the Minnesota Vikings is right, and now we have the enigma of the Atlanta Falcons that we we just cannot pick when they're going to be good and bad. So we are truly staying away from betting Atlanta, betting against Atlanta for the rest of the season, folks. We cannot uh, deal with any more losses here of uh, Falcons uh, covering when they probably shouldn't have. So Falcons get the win, 27-25 to 25 here. We had the Saints minus uh, six this week. Unfortunate, they lose out, right? So one of our picks, eh, that is, eh, and this is officially wrong, folks. Uh, we were just wrong about this one. Uh, we didn't like Trevor Simeon in the starting lineup here, uh, but he ended up getting the nod to go, uh, and we still sticked with the pick. But Trevor Simeon out here, 25 of 41 for 249 yards. He had two touchdowns, no picks. Did he fumble? Yes, he did fumble, and he did lose it. When did this fumble come? It came. When do we got this fumble at? Fumble, but here we go. It came in the fourth quarter when they were down 17 to six, and the Falcons go and take it in for a touchdown, making it 24 to six. And once again, don't get kind of too caught up in the final score. This was a blowout by the Falcons, folks. Truly, up 24 to six with how much time left? We got 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter, and the Saints go down. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown to take the lead, 25 to 24. Once again, classic Atlanta. Blowing a big old lead in the fourth quarter. When have we seen this before, right, folks? Geez, so the Saints, I mean, they do a good job to come back, but, a, you know, real late and kind of garbage time a little bit. They took the lead, so it's not officially garbage time, but in the end of the day, they weren't moving the ball the entire game, folks. And even on this one touchdown drive, folks, I mean, look at how they scored the touchdown drive. Are you all ready? When they're down 24 to 13, they have a 27-yard penalty, pass incomplete, pass incomplete, a 14-yard penalty, a 7-yard run, a 7-yard uh, pass, a 4-yard run, a pass incomplete, and then Alvin Kamara up the middle for 2 yards for the touchdown. So it's not like Trevor Simeon was moving the ball here, and I really thought, you know, you should have started Taysom Hill this week. We just watched Trevor Simeon last week, the act accuracy was all over the place and once again the accuracy this week was once again all over the place they weren't really stretching the field vertically uh putting up the points scoring the ball uh getting into scoring position anything like that so you know heading into next week I still want to see Taysom Hill as the starting guy it's kind of crazy how we had a quarterback battle of Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill as kind of the two main uh, people f vying for the starting job and Taysom Hill gets kind of sidetracked by Trevor Simeon here I don't think that makes that much sense but all right uh, Trevor Simeon let's start breaking down some stats here he goes 25 of 41 for 60 percent completion percentage that's not really anything we like he had 249 yards on 25 completion so I'll give him that two touchdowns great no interceptions great but once again it all kind of came in the fourth quarter you know you weren't really competitive and consistent this entire game Taysom Hill went 2 of 2 for 33 yards, folks. He's the better passer. We got 60% completion percentage or 100%. Which one are you taking? Give me the 100%, folks. So I really want to see Taysom Hill be the starting quarterback for the Saints next week. And if we have to see Trevor Simeon again, I think we have to stay away from the Saints. Um, I really just think that's what it has to be. And an unfortunate defensive uh, performance by the Saints team coming off of a really good defensive performance last week against the Bucs, you know, forcing three turnovers on Brady in this Falcons team no turnovers no turnovers Matt Ryan played a clean game I mean how, how how do you live with yourself as a defense coming away and having to say Matt Ryan played a clean game you did something wrong then if Matt Ryan's playing clean games out here Alvin Kamara for the Saints, 13 rushes for 50 yards and a touchdown. Mark Ingram, 9 carries for 43 yards. So once again, we know the rushing attack here for the Saints is good. And I just don't understand why we're throwing the ball 41 times. I get you're down, but you really didn't get down big bad until uh, the fourth 
quarter fumble. I mean, you in the third quarter you were down 17-3. I mean, that's only two touchdowns. You can still run the game, run the ball a little bit more. So, Sean Payton and the uh, you know who whoever's calling the offense here for the Saints this season is just really I don't think it's making the right moves quarterback wise, play calling wise, all of that. Even with James Winston, we didn't really see them stretch the ball down the field, and we get Trevor Simeon throwing for 249 yards. I think James Winston only threw over 249 yards like once this season and you know it took 41 throws it took being blown out in the fourth quarter for them to finally put up 249 passing yards so still not really buying the Saints team yes they're five and three but I don't I, there's nothing good there's nothing even good about this Saints team folks so not buying the Saints heading into next week. Um, we'll watch Trevor Simeon, I'm, I'm sure, on Wednesday's film study to really see should they stick with Trevor Simeon for a third week in a row. We'll see on, th on Wednesday. Um, Receiving-wise, who was Trevor Simeon throwing the ball to? Well, Alvin Kamara, leading receiver. That's number the greatest sign. Four receptions for 54 yards. Then we have Traquan Smith, three catches for 53 yards. Deontay Harris, six catches for 52 yards. Adam Troutman, four catches, 47 yards. Kenny Stills, two catches, 30 yards. He scored a touchdown. Marquez Callaway, three catches, 25 yards, and a touchdown. And once again, why are we not utilizing Marquez Callaway more, more? Make him the focal point point of this offense he's really the only wide receiver that has been consistent this entire year when you give him the opportunities Kenny Stills been good as well uh, Kenny Stills has been good as well but once again I mean these are kind of the fifth and sixth leading rece receivers here for the Saints this week Marquez Callaway did have six targets um, Troutman had seven Deontay Harris had eight, and Alvin Kamara had seven, but we need to make Marquez Callaway a bigger piece of this offense. I don't get what the Saints are truly going for um, with the offense that they've shown over the first eight games here. I don't think it's anything good and anything viable, but... That's where we're out. That's where we're at with the Saints, folks. I don't. I just don't like. It. I don't like how they're moving the ball when they do finally decide. Hey, we can move the ball a little bit here. Not buying the Saints at all. And then on the Falcon side, Matt Ryan goes 23 of 30. All right, 76 percent completion percentage, 343 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. A real clean game here for Matt Ryan. The rushing attack for Atlanta is still very, very awful. Mike Davis nine carries for 13 yards. Yikes. Cordell Patterson, nine carries for 10 yards. Once again, big yikes. So they're running back by committee, 23 yards on 18 carries. Woof, yikes. Big time, not good. And then who was Matt Ryan throwing to? Cordell Patterson, leading receiver, six catches, 126 yards, and really had the game ceiling catch right here after the Saints came all the way back, 25 to 24. There's a minute left on the clock, and Matt Ryan, and this is what we get with Matt Ryan, and this is why Matt Ryan is still a starting quarterback in this league, folks. In the clutch, this man can step it up. When they're down in the clutch, this man steps it up big time. When they're leading in the clutch, he flounders, but if you're ever down with Matt Ryan he gives you a real good chance to come back and you know we saw it in London against the Dolphins or no not in London uh we saw it against the Dolphins that wasn't in London was it no, was it? Um, we saw that against the Dolphins, um, going to who? Kyle Pitts on the sideline there, and he kind of iced the game. Matt Ryan, big, amazing best throw of the game. We broke it down. We loved it. And we get the same thing right here from their own 20-yard line, and he's going to our Cordell Patterson. Boom! Right there on the sideline. An immaculate right on the money throw right there. And Cordell Patterson puts him in field goal range just like that. Look at that man go. And once again, Cordell Patterson, Arthur Smith, truly fine utilizing him to his maximum potential right here he wasn't the rusher we know he kind of splits you know as a running back and a receiver big gadget player here uh, got it done receiving here R once again the rushing attack was non-existent by the Falcons all day long so Matt Ryan had to kind of put the team on his back and he did 76 percent completion percentage folks 343 yards the game winning absolutely on the money past their Cordell Patterson and once again shout out to Cordell Patterson for getting it done we've seen him be kind of you know the uh, one of the main factors offensively for this Falcons team. So Arthur Smith still getting it figured out here. I don't want to completely write off the Falcons. Um, 
they're still showing some glimpses out here of good court, of good play overall. Um, so we'll see what the Falcons do for the remainder of the season. And it's going to be real interesting to see what this Falcons team does at this offseason. Do they start to blow it all up? Do they keep Matt Ryan and all this? Arthur Smith will be going into his second year um, as the head coach here. And he'll be able to evaluate everything to see what they need and what they can kind of move on from. So this Falcons team is one of the more interesting teams still kind of in the league that we don't really know 100% certain on and they ended up getting the win so we still give them credit but let's finish up here with the receiving totals. Russell Gage 7 receptions for 64 yards. Kyle Pitts 3 receptions for 62 yards. Uh, we had Olamide Zacchaeus, three catches for 58 yards. He scored two touchdowns. And Hayden Hurst, two catches for 16 yards. So overall, Matt Ryan, a pretty solid game. Got it done in the clutch. And the Saints with Trevor Simeon, not good all game until the fourth quarter. They lose, unfortunate.